Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're talking about the Gammon PD1560, so a pen display that's 15 inches. So I'm going to be comparing this to the Artist 15.6, which is a pretty similar price range and XP Pen is kind of my preferred brand in terms of price point and the quality of the drawing experience. So currently the Gammon is around $280, although at this particular point there's a Cyber Monday, Black Friday type deal so it's around $240. And then there's the Pro version, which is $400 and $320 at the moment currently on sale. So there's a bit of reduction for both of those with the Cyber Monday, Black Friday type deals. Compared to the XP Pen, it's $320 normally. The sale price is $260. So to be honest, there's not much in it with the sale price at the moment. So $260 versus $240. Now if you're going for the Pro version, they're exactly the same in terms of the price when they're not on sale and the price when they are on sale, so $400 and $320. Sometimes I might say pounds, but it's always dollars, so just that I'm used to saying pounds. So it should be a good comparison and I'll talk about the Pro versions a bit later on. First of all, it's important to point out that this is a display tablet, so you must plug it into a computer. It doesn't work as a standalone PC by itself. And it works as a drawing tablet that you draw on top of, and I'll show you some pictures in the background of how it works and me working on it. So what's it got? Well, it's got an HD display, 15 inch screen, so across between the corners, 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. That doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but it's nice to know that it's got that kind of maximum. Uh, it's got a good response rate. Uh, it's Mac and PC only, unfortunately, to you uh, Linux users. And it's got left-handed mode, so you can kind of switch the screen upside down and use it left-handed. The installation was fine, there were no problems. I have found that with other Gammon products as well, so I'm quite pleased about that in terms of the brand. Much like XP Pen, so there's not much to compare there. But Hueyon and Artisol, I have had problems with their drivers recently. So the feel of the pen, it's pretty normal. If I were to compare this to Wacom pens, which are the best, uh, it's a lot more squishy at the top. It's something you get used to, and I don't see that as a big problem. It's got the two programmable buttons on the pen, which is important for when you're using things like Blender. You'll want to program one of the buttons to the middle mouse button so you can move around your scene. The problem with this pen, though, is that it's got a sort of chargeable aspect to it, so you have to plug it in like this. Apparently the charge lasts for about a month, so that's pretty good, but it is a bit of a hassle that you keep having to plug it in every now and again, and it's a wire that you have to worry about and something else to go wrong, to be honest. So I'm not that impressed about the chargeable pen. There's lots of buttons down the side that you can program, but you do have to reprogram them when you go to another program. So if you're using something like Photoshop or Critter, and then you're going across to Blender or something else, and you want to use your tablet and you want the buttons programmed for each, uh, obviously you're gonna have different shortcuts and you have to reprogram it each time, which I think is a bit of a pain. But that's a limitation of the XP Pen as well, although they are trying to update that with the newest versions of their drivers. So what about the drawing experience? Well, it was okay, the pressure sensitivity was good, the response rate was good, so that part of it was quite nice. The parallax and calibration was not great. So the parallax is the distance between your pen and the actual cursor. So the thickness of the screen most of the time is what's going to uh, be the issue there. And the thicker the screen, the further away your pen is, so the, the less the experience. And uh, it can mean that your cursor, particularly if you've got a big screen, you're looking in the corners, is sort of at an angle and you have to sort of judge that angle slightly. So the thinner the screen, the better. And that's the difference between this version and the Pro version. Same with the XP Pen. They've got laminated screens which are thinner. They're a bit more shiny, but they are thinner and they are better for that parallax. The other problem I had with this was the calibration though, which isn't to do with the parallax. That's just where your cursor is compared to your pen. And you have to calibrate them, so it's got lots of points that you have to press and calibrate your pen at the start. And no matter how many times I calibrated it, I always found that the cursor was slightly away and in different positions. So I'd go up to the corner, it'd be over there, down here, and it'd be slightly below me. Now that didn't make too much of a difference in things like Blender, because you don't have to be really precise when you're sculpting. But when you're drawing, your pen has to be really on the mark and it has to be precise. So I was finding I had to zoom in a lot to get a more precise mark. So that was a bit of an interruption to the drawing experience. It wasn't necessarily a deal breaker. You can still use it. It's still very much usable. But for me, it interrupted the drawing experience quite considerably compared to something like a Wacom or an XP Pen. So I was a bit disappointed in that sense. 
Now that being said, if you go for the pro version, you will get less of that parallax, so there may be less of a problem. So that might be something to consider, and the pro version is only 50 to 60 pound more expensive depending on the reductions, uh, but I'm talking about their usual price. So I'd be more tempted to go for the pro versions, probably of both the XP Pen and the Gammon, if you can just afford that little bit more, it will make a big difference. So you've seen some of my work in the background, and that's both using Critter and Blender. Like I say, wasn't happy with the experience in Critter, and that's my kind of drawing program of choice. Blender wasn't so bad. I'm not really sure why I drew that weird elephant, but I just started blobbing things around and it ended up looking a bit like an elephant, so I just went with that. It's far more interesting to make something and I find I can test the tablet out really properly if I'm actually doing some actual piece of work. In Krita, I was just doing my normal pose practice that I tend to do, uh, quick poses, two or three minutes on each. So they weren't anything special, but I could really see the drawing experience was a problem there. So let's kind of compare them side by side. First of all, the size, 15 inch, so they're both the same, so they're equal there. In terms of cost, the Gammon is cheaper, but that's only by about $20 when you take into account the reductions, so XP Pen are reducing theirs more. XP Pen do have regular sales as well, so that's worth looking out for. Calibration though, that was a major issue, and XP Pen I haven't had the same issues with, it's much more precise, so that was a bit of a deal breaker in terms of the Gammon for me. The response rate and the pressure sensitivity, that was absolutely fine. In some ways, the pressure sensitivity felt a little bit nicer than the XP Pen, but it's difficult to say sometimes when you're jumping from tablet to tablet, and it depends on the piece of work you're doing. There really was hardly anything in it here, though. Then there's the pen. The fact that you have to plug that pen in is another one that brings the gammon down compared to the XP Pen. So all in all, I would say the XP Pen is a better buy, even if you take into account the increase in cost, I would spend that little bit more if you can and go for the XP Pen rather than the Gammon. So thanks very much to Gammon for sending this to me. I'm not sure whether they'll send me anything else because I do think the XP Pen is a better buy even though it is very slightly more expensive. So that's my honest opinion. We'll see how they get on with that. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope this helps.